Middlebrook, this is for you. Everyone else, if you think this video sucks, you can blame Middlebrook, because he wants more. More feed the fucking hairy beast that is Middlebrook. So open up, buddy. Alright, today we're going to talk about false identities. We're going to talk about alter egos. We're going to talk about YouTube and books. Right now I'm reading this book, Cavalier and Clay. I've been reading it for months. The first 100 pages I flew through. The middle 400 pages read like molasses. Like the most fucking boring story I've ever read. You know, you, you know, you can't tell if you're sympathetic or excited for the characters or any other shit. Anyway, the last 200 pages have been great because that's where all the deceit, despair, and deception, and that's where it all comes back. Happy stories don't do it for me. Bigfoot, I not dead. This is uh, the Journal of Bigfoot. Uh, this is by Graham Romeo. Romeo. I don't even know if I'm saying that wrong. Right, French dude. That's what he looks like. Anyway, the whole thing is him basically writing from a journal of Bigfoots, and it is hilarious. This is Bigfoot getting a Broadway show. Um, this is Bigfoot saving his neighbors. Uh, this is Bigfoot uh, trying to improve his life. Um, he's a host of a, a Broadway show, uh, or a TV show. Let me read you the first page, because it's pretty damn funny. Dear people, may have noticed Bigfoot not around much last couple of years. All start with tragic hot plate related fire at Bigfoot compound. So scared by fire and sad about burn ravioli that Bigfoot just run. Eventually run so far decide no point going back. Like Kerouac, Bigfoot decide to travel land. Like Odysseus, have hard time get back. Romance some ladies and slay monster, both figurative and real. Bigfoot want share experience and what they teach about life, self, love, so peace on earth can finally be achieved. Love, Bigfoot. And there he is, um, dressed up as a dolphin riding on a sea tortoise. This book is fucking awesome. Next Tuesday is St. Patrick's Day, and I'm in an Irish band that is playing a shit ton of gigs up until then. If you're in Chicago, um, then send me a message, and I'll let you know where we're playing. Uh, but it's occurred to me that I can't really promote on YouTube because it's going to give away my real identity. And as much as, you know, I like you people, some of you people, actually ask Crumbine who I like because he knows better than anyone. I don't really want you knowing who I really am. Because I think there's a bunch of idiots on there. On, on there. Out there. Um, so I've decided that I'm not going to promote any of the shows on YouTube. So, fuck off. <laughs> oh, that was lightning. I have created this, this alter ego, this obsquanch. Which isn't me. I mean, it is. It's par partly me. I made the word up. In when I was like 19, after watching a hairy drunk guy stumble around a BMX dirt bike course, drunk off his ass and in his underwear, and I just kind of said the word. It's like Bob Squatch, and it just kind of stuck with me at that point. So that's the origins of the word. Anyway, regardless, Bob Squatch is this mentality, and it's uh, this character. It's become a character. Uh, and I think it's funny, it's kind of been adopted, you know, Crumbine, I love ya, he, he, he uh, Crumbine has written, has helped develop this character of Omsquatch, which I think is hilarious, as a complete asshole, a fucking douchebag, drunk, alcoholic, piece of shit. And I love it, you know, that's funny. I mean, I'm sure I had something to do with that being created. Um, but it's a character I can easily f slip into. Regardless, over the last couple of weeks, you might, like, I... My real life in the real world out out there, all around here, not in there, um, has been taken precedent. So don't be pissed. It's just the way it is. So like I said, if this video sucks, you can blame Middlebrook, because he's dragging me back to in there when I I just wanted to be out here for a little while. I have to clean this fucking place. Regardless, it's raining in Chicago. It's Sunday. I got my books. I've been reading like a madman. Um, it's one of my favorite things to do when it's raining. And there was again. Um, I've been having a good time.
Hope you have too. I feel better. Let's go shoot the, the cover of the Irish band. So, can I get them wiggling? Are they going? Yeah, they're going. <laughs> yeah, We're going to go break into a girl's school because the name of the Irish band is Florida Girls. And Mike's going Mike's to take the photo. Again, living and dying. <laughs> the applause bombs. <laughs> <laughs>